You are about to hear a romantic drama, The Last Dance, from Street and Smith's Love Story magazine, featuring the love story girl in the role of Joan Page. This is the love story of Joan Page, a nice girl who didn't know what she really wanted until it was almost too late. We find Joan in a booth of the Vendome beauty shop, having her hair done. It's the morning before the big dance at the country club. Would you like some brillantine on your hair, Miss Joan? Mm, yes, please, Marie. Oh, I guess this will be a big day for you, won't it? Mm -hmm. Booked up every single minute and running behind schedule already. It's that girl in the booth next door. Tilly's set her hair three times already. Oh, really? Nothing's good enough for her, I guess. She's having her nails done now. Do you want I should comb your hair part in the middle like always, Miss Jones? Mm, yes, I suppose so, Marie. <laughs> I suppose you're going to the dance with Mr. Jimmy Travers as usual, huh? <laughs> well, I don't know, Marie. He hasn't actually asked me. You see, he's been so busy on that law case he's working on that I haven't really seen him this last mm -hmm. week. Maybe he's forgotten all about the dance. What? <laughs> Mr. Jimmy, forget about taking you to a dance? <laughs> <laughs> Why, everybody here in Melton knows you could sooner get rid of your own shadow. Well, to tell you the truth, Marie, I'm not really worrying very much. Oh, is that the reddest nail polish y'all can find? My, what scissors you got up here? I take it the lady wants red nail polish, Marie. Mm, she wants a lot of things she won't get in this shop. What's her name? Paula Black. Oh, oh, I know. She must be Judge Black's niece, the one everybody's talking about. A regular man killer, fresh up from Georgia. Yes, mm -hmm. I got a bid to the dance. He asked me before I'd been talking to him more than ten minutes. Mm, well, she doesn't seem to suffer very much from an inferiority know. complex. Yes, he's a nice-looking boy I'm going with. Name of Jimmy. Jimmy's kind of cute name, don't you think? Yeah, sure, that's him, Jimmy Travers. Oh, oh Marie, that... That's my Jimmy. Uh-huh. They tell me he's been going around steady with the same girl ever since he was a kid in high school. Plain little thing. Name of Joan Page. Joan sounds awful old-fashioned, don't it? I guess he don't think so much about her now up here town. Oh, Marie. I'm terribly sorry, Miss Joan. Oh, that's all right, Marie. I, that is, I, I suppose that's why I haven't seen Jimmy all week. Well, yes, I, I did hear Mrs. Jebbers saying something about seeing them parked out by Melton Pond. Uh, I guess maybe I'm the only one in Melton that didn't know Jimmy wasn't going to take me to the dance. Oh, pardon me. I, I didn't mean to bump into uh, you like that. Why, Joan. Oh, Don. I, I guess I didn't see who it was at first. I, that, that is, I guess I've got something in my eye. You you haven't been crying, Joan. Oh, I know, Don. Just... Just something blue in my eye, that's all. You better let me drive you home. Oh, no, I, I'm all right, honestly. Nonsense. You can't see a thing. Here, I've got my new roadster right here at the curb. She's a honey, Joan. Wait till you see how she rides. You'll get a kick out of it. Oh, all right, Don, but take me straight home, please. Anything you say. Here, let me help you in. Oh, it is a nice car, Don. You bet it is. And wait till you see how she eats up the road. All set now? Yes, Don. Good, then. Here we go. Hang on. It is lovely, like flying. Uh, no, no, flying's better. Flying is the swellest sensation in the world. I'll take you up my plane sometime, if you like. Oh, uh, no, Donna. Uh, I mean, thank you just the same. I, I couldn't, really. Afraid of my lurid reputation, Joan? Why, Donna, well, that is, you, you are supposed to be kind of fast. Oh, I know. I love speed, but not the kind you mean. I'm crazy about flying. That's why I went into aviation instead of into father's factory. 
even if I don't make as much money that way. But you... Well, I mean, is there much future in it, Don? Your, your father does want someone to take over his business, and then if you ever wanted to get married or anything, I, I mean, flying is kind of hard on a man's family. Well, yeah. I never thought of it that way, I guess. I just sort of never thought of matrimony at all before. Joan, look here. I, I've heard about you and Jimmy. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right, Don. I mean, it was just one of those boy and girl affairs, I guess. You can't expect that sort of thing to last forever. Look here, Joan. I haven't been playing around with that country club bunch lately. There are a lot of stuffed shirts, but... I know. You'd rather hang around Louie's Roadhouse. But that's where all the commercial pilots hang out, Joan. And what about that girl, Ruby de Rose? Oh, well, she's sort of an entertainer there. You you don't think there's anything between us? Oh, well, I don't know, Don. You, you've been seen a lot tearing around the country with her. But, Joan, that doesn't mean anything. I mean... You have got yourself talked about, you know. Yeah, I guess that's right. I was going to ask you to go to that dance tonight with me. Oh, I know I'd just be a stopgap till Jimmy came to his senses. Oh, here comes Jimmy's car. Oh, he, he's got somebody with him. It, it's that Paula Black. She was hanging on his arm. That girl's a lot worse than Ruby. Ruby's at least honest. Joan, I hate to see a mug like Jimmy give you the runaround. He's not worth it. Why don't you show him something? Give him a run for his money. Oh, but, Don, how can I? I? I mean, it's like she said. I'm just a plain little thing. Plain nothing. You're you're just not done up like Paula is. Get yourself a lipstick, Joan. Do things to your eyelashes. Cut your evening dresses down in back. Don, Don, do you think I could? I, I mean, do you think he, he'd notice? Unless he's suddenly struck blind, he will. D Don, I will go to that dance with you, if you still want me to. Do I? Oh, Joan, that's swell. Oh. Here's the house, Don. Sure, sure, I remember. Call for me at 8.30, Don. We'll show Jimmy a thing or two. You said it. 8.30. Hello, big boy. Uh, oh, hello, Ruby. Going to take me for a ride? No, I'm sorry, Ruby. You're a good kid, but I've decided to cut out Louie's roadhouse and all this running around. I'm sorry, Ruby. You've been swell. Sure, skip it. I understand. She's a nice-looking kid, Don. I wish you luck. Thanks, Ruby. Well, I guess I'll drive down to the factory and ask the old man to put me to work. Joan, you're wonderful to dance with. Oh, you always were one of the best dancers I've ever known, Don. Oh, thanks, but it's the inspiration. Honestly. Oh, Don. <laughs> Don. Here he comes. Jimmy, I mean. Joan, please don't. That is, I... Well, well, if it isn't Joan. Why, you look like a new person tonight, Joan. What's happened to you? Oh, I don't know, Jimmy. Maybe I've just grown up. How about the next dance? Sorry, Jimmy, but I've promised all my dances to Don. Okay. I just thought I'd better ask for old times' sake, you know. No hard feelings, Joan. Why would there be? Swell. Well, I'll see you sometime. Don, he... He was just asking me to be polite. Oh, rot. Yes, he was. Oh, Don, let's go into the bar. I, I want a cocktail. Maybe two cocktails. No, you don't, Joan. Not while you're with me. Tell you what I will do, though, if you feel you need a stimulant. Yes, Don. We'll take a little ride in my plane. It's a beautiful moonlight night. All right, Don, let's go. Like it, Joan? Oh, it's marvelous, Joan. Breathtaking. Everything's so small and far away. No, nothing seems to be important anymore. Nothing but us. Oh, Joan, I know I shouldn't make love to you so soon, darling, but I can't help it. You'll forget about Jimmy. I'll make you. I've taken a job at the factory, Joan. Oh, I'm glad, Joan. I've cut out Louie's Roadhouse gang and... Oh, Joan, I love you. I always have, but I never... I never wanted to butt in as long as Jimmy was in the picture. But now things are different. You're going to love me, too, Oh, Don, Don, please, it's no use. I, I still love Jimmy, at least I think I do. Oh, Don, let's go back to the dance. I feel cold. I know, Don. You, you are sweet. I'm sorry about everything. 
Oh, that's all right. Now, here comes Jimmy. Looks like he's missed you. John! John, where were you? I've been looking all over the doggone club and couldn't find you. For the very good reason I wasn't here. Don and I have been flying up to the moon. John, you mustn't do things like that. It's, it's dangerous. I know. I love it. Listen, I want to talk to you. You've got to give me this dance. Sorry, Jimmy, but I promised Don. Oh, to blazes with that. I've got to talk to you. Uh, is it all right, Don? Sure. I'll wait for you here. Thanks, Don. You can cut in after the next encore. I'll be there. Joan, what do you think you're doing running around like this with Don Nelson? You've been doing a bit of running around yourself, haven't you, Jimmy? Oh, I'll admit I've been a fool. I, I was sort of taken in by that southern line, I guess. But that was just temporary, Joan. There's never been anyone but you. Jimmy, Jimmy, don't hold me so tight. People are looking. I can't help it, Joan. Come on outside. I, I want to kiss you. No, Jimmy. All right, then I'll have to do it right here on the dance floor. Jimmy, don't. Jimmy. Yeah. I guess that'll show you how I feel. Jimmy, I have something to tell you. Yes, Joan? When I get all dressed up tonight and came here with Don, I did it to make you jealous. I wanted to try and win you back. Oh, Joan, you darling fool. Do you think I didn't know that? Wait, Jimmy. There's something more. Now that you have come back, it, well, it doesn't seem important. I just don't love you anymore, Jimmy. Oh, you're fooling. No, I never was more serious in my life. Now you'd better take me back to Don. Okay. That's what you want. I do. Don! Oh, he's not there. Where is he, Fred? Have you seen Don anywhere? Uh huh. In the bar. Drank down a double brandy and beat it out of there as if the devil were after him. Said he was going out the flying field. Oh, Fred, how long ago was that? Oh, just a couple of minutes. Right after he saw Jimmy kiss you, I guess. Say, that was some smack. Jimmy, you've got to drive me out to the flying field. Hurry, we've got to get there before Don does anything foolish. Faster, oh, Jimmy, you've got to go faster. No use. This is the field, Joan. I don't see him anywhere. That's his plane over there. They're warming up the engine. I've got to catch him before he takes off. Goodbye, Jimmy. Thanks. Don! Don! Don't go! Don, wait for me! Joan! What are you doing out here? I came to stop you. Don't go up there, Don, by yourself. Don't go anywhere without me. What'd you say? I said I loved you. Darling! I thought it was Jimmy. No, Don, it's you. I was going to fly up there to the moon and never come back. I know, Don, but you can't now. We'll go together on our honeymoon. You have been listening to a romance featuring the love story girl and presented with the permission of Street Dan Smith, publishers of Love Story magazine. Thank you.